手机打开一下，顺便看一下问题。Okay, so、uh, I'm Gary here, and today with Frank, we're going to have a discussion、um, or interview about、um, ethical dilemma. And now、uh, let's Frank introduce himself. Oh, hi! Thanks for having me. I'm a researcher at Simon Fraser University in the Department of Biomechanics and、uh, Biomedical Physiology and Kinesiology. That's great. And、um, so, what what current position that you are in within your group? Are you a leader or? Currently, I'm the, the leading researcher in my group, studying about、uh, human physiology. Human physiology, specifically, is the study of obesity and exercise. Yeah, sounds good. And how long did you、uh, have this position so far? Uh, it's about only two years for my position for for leading leading a small group of research. Uh, also for me, I'm still in a study, and it's about only two years, not very long. But I do really like being the leader in the small research group. Sounds great. And um, so let's get in get into the uh part of um、uh, ethical dilemma. And do you mind to um discuss or describe an ethical dilemma that you you guys have faced so far? Oh, for sure.、Uh, there's a lot of dilemma we encounter during our research.、Uh, basically, in every area, we also we're facing some ethical dilemmas. For example, the most recent I can I can I can remember is、uh, during our one of research、um, when we writing our paper, we I do notice one of our group mates are overly exaggerating his、uh, his. A、performance or his contribution to our research paper in almost close to the academic dishonesty, and we also find the results he provided is very similar to one of the research I actually find can be found online. So one of the dilemma for me is because I already know、uh, he, there's a data issue with his、uh, that there's issue with his data. So I'm facing the issue is if shall I Tell what should I tell the the leading academic on our you know our university city? So say we he is at the potentially、uh, conducting a academic dishonesty, or should I just let him through and just say nothing and maybe she should remain remain his name on our research paper? So that's a academic that basically it's a dilemma we are facing. I'm facing actually. I see. It's a common phenomenon within、um, universities. And、um, so, what's the method, or how did you guys、um, get through it? What's the way that you guys solve this kind of problem? Of course,、uh, as a as a lead, leading researcher in our group, it's a very hard decision for me to actually if sh- to decide if should he be judged by our sc-、uh, school board. So to 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 investigate is he conducting academic dishonesty or we just let him pass?、Um, but risk a potential of our paper being found out. There will be data manipulation or you know the risk of copying someone else's paper's data. So we our entire paper will be compromised, including our group may be compromised for for doing that. So it's very hard for me for that because. If I do report for to our to our board, so he will be investigated for academic dishonesty. I believe he will be 100%、uh, penalized on that, which means he probably will end his, I would say, academic journey for very harsh words. But if I don't,、uh, the problem will be, you know, our paper could, but although I'm sure nobody gonna re- read our research paper, but If someone did and find out our data group is so similar to a to a to a to a research paper we are found online, so it will potentially end the entire group of research entire group of research. So this is a dilemma I faced. So I think a、uh, I think a little bit to myself say should I do should I do report him or should I just not? But I didn't consider the third option, which I come up with later is. I just straight to talk to him. So I, I talk to the guy who are actually doing weird data, submitted weird data, weird data. I talk to him. So I say, I know,、uh, I do realize your data is very suspicious, 
and you are potentially copying someone else's data to submit to our paper. So um, very, um, I'm deeply consider you should probably withdraw your name from our paper or I have to report you to our school, uh, to our university board to, for the investigation of academic dishonesty. So uh, I do talk to him uh, for uh, for an hour or so, and he do show he do realize he's well. He did show his realized he did something really really bad, and at the end he actually withdraw his name from our research paper and basically withdraw our entire data set, uh, which we need to redo the experiment. That's that sucks, but at least uh, at least we can get out of this situation in one piece. That's true. Um, so did you, um, you came up with, with the plan or the message is that you just go, go talk to him directly. Uh, and did you get this, uh, did you get anyone who support you to do this process or did you get any advice from others, your parents, your instructors, your friends, whatever? Uh, uh, I, I, I do, I would say, uh, because sometimes we also so hand up on the option we facing and we have in hand say we should do this or we should do that it's either this or that there's only two options without a third that sometimes we are just locked in our box so after we reading so much books maybe we hear something so many podcasts maybe we hear, we hear from our parents maybe our friends say oh or we get always get a second opinion or just think outside of the box say say why we should why only have two options we can only have third for example, I can report him or rep not report him, but that just just so hand up on those two options. Why why don't I just talk to the guy? Maybe that's a solution. Maybe it's maybe it's not a solution. Who knows? If it didn't didn't work, we have may come up with the fourth option. If there is still no option left, we, then we have to do the hard decision to report him. But however, if we do have a less harmful way to solve the situation. I don't see why we shouldn't talk to him first then say just report him straightly. Sounds great. Um, so as a leader, were you satisfied with the outcome um, as a leader's perspective? Uh, the situation is very difficult at first and none of the options are good because if I do report him, it will be a, the end of the end of the academic journey for him. And we, if we don't, we are risking our entire group's reputation. Reputation, And if we, if he withdraw his name, we need to basically redo the experiment and we're already short on time to publish our paper. So none of the options are, are great because of the failure, the, because of his failure. But I would say we do actually come up with the best option that's the best option we have in hands so I'm, I'll say we, I'm very satisfied, satisfied with the outcome. Sounds great. So um, I guess um, that's all for my question. And hopefully you won't uh, face this kind of dilemma in your future academic uh, education, right? Um, so thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Um, Thank you yeah, for having me. It. Yeah, no problem. Thanks.